Hi guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Giant Killers series on Football Manager 2016 with Alessandria. And like I said at the end of last episode, we played one game in the time between last episode and this episode and it was against Pordenone. I think that's how we pronounce it. Um, this was a cracking game, I mean for the neutral. We went 1-0 up, then they equalised, then they went 2-1 up, and then we equalised and then we ended up winning. 3-2. I think it was quite a late goal as well. We'll just wait for this to to load up. But we, we came back from behind and the victory today guaranteed us a playoff spot at the very least and sent us four points clear at the top of the table with two games left in the season. And there we go. So... Manuel Maras, Bonaperti and Laviso was a late goal. It was a penalty in the 81st minute. That sealed the victory for us. But you can see that we were on top most of the game and we probably deserved the victory. Manuel Maras picked up a bit of a knock. I think it was a sprained wrist, actually. He, he's going to be out for the rest of the season, which sounds like a long time, but given there's only two games, he's only out for the next two games. He actually comes back on the, day of the, on the, on the final day of the season, but I'm not sure if he'll be ready to play or not. I probably wouldn't want to risk him. Um, speaking of Maras... I'm kind of in a bit of a pickle at the moment because he's on loan from Spezia who are in Serie B I think and um, he's out of contract in June I'm trying to get him to come in but we have to pay compensation to Spezia we have to pay 23,000 and our club finances are I don't know why I clicked on that our club finances are pretty poor um, it was actually worse than this a couple of days ago because we were minus a million. The boards just had to inject three hundred seventy-five thousand into the into the balance. Um, that's how we've made a profit this month. Overall, this season we've lost one point one million. Um, but of course, we do get a hundred and some hundred k, just a bit more than that, I think, for if we win the 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 league. So we've had to delay the transfer of Manuel Maris to us for a week by a week. Hopefully, the club will allow the deal to go through. I doubt it. I actually doubt it. I just hope that no one else comes in for him. Like if he if he just lets his contract end, and then we'll come in and get him. But he's a very good player, and he's he's shown that this season. Obviously, he's been one of our better players. Um. So yeah, we've got a double live come today. I'll show you the league table first of all. So. As you can see, we're four points clear at the top. There's two games left, so we basically need, we need a win, one win out of the last two games to seal the league title. And that would just be amazing. That would be actually above the media expectation, which is second, so not far above, but still, and better than what the board expected of us. We're in a good position to do this. Obviously, we're playing against Pro Patria, who are 11th, and Pro Piacenza, who are 16th. However, the easier game, touch wood, would be the Pro Patria game because obviously they've not really got anything to play for really how many six you could still theoretically get into the relegation playoff but in Pro P PSNs have got a bit more to play for um, obviously we've got a lot to play for as well because we want to win the league and we've actually set a new league record for number of goals scored in the season we've scored 61 so far and that's with two games left um, just try and show that Records. Most team goals. There it is. Sixty-one this season. We've that that beats the previous record, which was set by Navarra of fifty-eight goals, and we've got two games left. So hopefully we can we can grab a few more and and increase that. Very pleased with how things are going. And we'll just now we'll just go. We'll get straight into the game. I've rambled enough already. So arguably the most important game of the season. I know I said that about the Renat game last episode, which was very important because if we hadn't won that, then uh, things would have could have deteriorated. We've got two people suspended today. Alex Siri is centre back, so we've brought Santiago Marrero in for him. And we've got Adriana Messavier also suspended. I think they're both was he too many yellow cards? Ten yellow cards and five yellow cards. Yeah, is he banned for one as well? Yeah, both banned for one match. They'll so be back for the last game of the season. Um, and I brought in Gianluca Nico for 
as you call it, for Metavia. Also, Manuel Maris obviously sprained his wrist. Don't want to risk him. He's he's just a little bit injured. He said he's returned to full fitness in three days. Oh, that's pretty cool. So he could be available for the last game of the season. I almost popped my pants there when I saw that he was under transfer bid, then realised that was us. Got a bit concerned there. So brought Fischnaller in at attacking centre midfield and moved Minelli out to the, the right side of the attacking midfield trio. Um, I am thinking maybe, given the, the, the youth players that I've got in the first team, they go in the, the next game if we win. But we'll see how this game goes first, obviously. Yep, continue. So away from home here, second last game of the season against 11th place Pro Patria. We are the one to two favourites and we are a win away from becoming Serie C A champions and we'll look to clinch it with a win over Pro Patria. So our key man is Manuel Maris, who is on the bench today. And their key man is Gianluca San Pietro, who is their captain and some form of midfielder. It appears centre midfielder. Uh, he's, he's not that bad. Oh, he's on loan from Sampdoria. That would be why. He's got pretty good stats, actually. So, a win today, and we're guaranteed the league title. A draw could be enough for us, depending on how Criminese and Bassano do, but... Hopefully, we, we just do our, our job and win. That's the aim, anyway. So we'll tightly mark both strikers and get into the team talk. I did actually hold a team meeting and it didn't go particularly well. Um, I, I kind of said we've done really well to, to get ourselves in the position to win the title. I'm really proud of what we've done this season. And then a few of the players, like 10 of the players, I think, were like... Um, Surely you should be encouraging us to go ahead and win the title. Then seven of the players were saying that we you say you're speaking as if you didn't expect us to win the league. And I was just like, oh, oh well, that, that worked. Well, hopefully it doesn't have an effect on them today. Most of the players that took offence to it were actually like the, the youth players. So maybe it's just something to do with them. How wide is this pitch? Jesus. What the... What? Um, okay, I need to fix this. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to be able to see any <laughs> anything today because this pitch is just extremely widescreen. That is crazy. That, I've never seen a pitch like this on this game. That is mental. It's like, it covers the entire screen. Craziness. I think that was a chance for them. I wasn't really paying attention. I was more intrigued by the, the screen. But they do seem to be having a bit more of the, the early go into the game. It's Columba down the left-hand side. Gives it to Dagiri. Jedi plays it through to Montini and it's wide. I don't like not being able to see everything. It looks like it's all them so far. Minelli heads it away, but that's a poor header. Mokori's got it. That's 1 0. Right, well, we're not standing for that. And more. Eight minutes in, nine minutes in, just about, and we're we're one nil down. Not not good at all. I mean, I said a draw would could do, but a defeat definitely can't. Laviso's got a free kick, whips it in. He's got it again. He gives it to Sabato. It's Laviso again. That was awful. It's good that we created a chance though. First chance of the game. For us, anyway. Sosa's picked up an early yellow card as well. I, ho I just hope we're not going to miss um, the the skills of Manuel Maris. Obviously, he's been one of our better performing players this season. 
Throw by Taino to Columba. Plays it out wide right to Jedi. Spirito now. Good tackle from Zabato, but he couldn't keep the ball. De Geary's got it for Pro Patria. It's Jedi again. Forward ball to Mont Montini. Crosses it. Back post. Fotti's there. Cleared by Sabato. Is this a counter attack for us? It's Fishnella. Long ball. The Morton intercepts. San Pietro's got it. Great ball from San Pietro there. The Fotti is brilliant tracking back from Herrera. I was about to say he was on one on one with the keeper. Herrera was playing quite well in defence today. Minelli with the ball out to Marconi. Oh, that's behind Sosa, but he's going to get it. He plays it forward to Minelli. Laviso. Bonapirti. Oh, over the bar from Bonapirti. That was a great chance. I think Minelli, I feel like Minelli is our weak link in the, the, attacking, the attacking four. Lamort. Oh, speak of the devil. Minelli wins the ball back to Marconi. Through to Bonapirti. Bonapirti again saved by Lagorga. Corner. One from the training ground. Laviso. Oh, that one didn't work as well as it has done. Sabato. Laviso shoots and that's well wide. Half an hour gone. Still 1-0 down. I was interested to see. Oh, Bassano must be winning. We've got a throw in. It's Sabato. It's Fishnala. Sabato. Nico on the edge of the box. Nico shoots and that's over the bar. Like I said, all we need is to win today and then we've won the title. Lavisa with a corner. Bonapirti. He's going to have a dig, isn't he? Nope, it's Marrero. Bonapirti. It's tackled by Jedi and now they're on the attack. Fortunately, we've got four men back. And good tackle from Minelli. San Pietro with a free kick. Oh, Spirito nearly scoring there and hit the post. Just managed to scramble that away. We've had more chances. Seems to be a pattern that, that's developing in our game. Renata winning as well. Ooh. I'm going to have to have a word with them at half time, aren't they? I feel like bringing Maras on with like 15 minutes to go if we're still nil nil. One nil even. Nil nil? I wish it was nil nil. Where's your passion? There go. Look motivated. Right. Marrero's supposed to be having a bad game. From what I've seen, he's done quite well. It seems a bit strange to me. Fishnella not having the best of games either. Mm, do you bring Maris on? Oh, he's got protective equipment for his sprained wrist. Well, surely he'll be, surely he'll be fine for that. This is a risk. So bringing Omar Maris, who's got a sprained wrist and is playing with the use of protective equipment, bringing him on. And I think we'll we'll leave it at that for now. Let's try and do some individual team talks to make them happy. Talk to Leviso. Yay. The only person not to be affected from the team talk was Bonaparte. The guy who's missed two opportunities today. That's great stuff, really. So into the second half we go, eventually, and we've got the kickoff, and we give the ball away straight from the kickoff. Do I sense some nerves in this Alessandria side? It's Daguiri to Montini, Jedi, Montsabato. Oh no, don't give a foul away. So we're obviously still top. We couldn't like lose top posi first position in the league. We're actually still two points clear. We still just need a win. Because Cremonese are currently drawing. So 
it was to stay like this, it would go down to the final game of the season. And looking at that Propia Senza seem to be doing something as well. Perhaps they're winning. Oh, it's not been many highlights. Poop. I can't get rid of the table. Bonaparte. Bonaparte cutting inside. He shoots. Oh, that, that hit the crossbar. Oh, my God. Come on. We just need two goals. That's all we need. Two goals. Who can I bring on that will change things? We could... Hmm. And set, I think we need a centre midfield then. I think I might change the attacker. So we'll bring Zakagni on for Nico and we'll swap Lovisa when Nico rolls around. And then we'll bring Ricardo Boccolan on because Marconi's not really been doing much today. And that is all three of our subs done and dusted. Three of our back four have got yellow cards. You can see why Alex Siri was is out with um Suspension for picking up too many. Nordi with a goal kick towards Maris. De Geary wins the header. Fotti with the ball forward. Sabato should get that, but he gives it straight to Pro Patria and it's Jedi now coming forward with the ball. Good tackle from Levi Song nearly. Sabato's got it though. Gives it to Bocalon. The substitute. Maris. Fishnala. Out wide left. Brilliant pass to Bonaparte. Anyone going to be up in the box with him? It's Bonaparte. Crosses it in. Maris is there. It's headed away. Sosa on the right hand side this time. Is he going to have a go? He's gone past one defender. He's going to pull it back for Fishnaller. It's Bocalon. He had a shot, but it was blocked by the defender. That was another good chance for us. We're not taking our chances at all. Am I going to have to go overload? Uh, I feel like that's going to have to be done now. Very risky. It's 10 minutes to go. I've gone overload. It's still 1 0 to Pro Patria. In this form, we could actually throw away the league title. This is not good. Sabato with a throw to Bonaparte. Sabato. Fishnala. Bonaparte. Crosses it. Maris is there. Teddy with Aitano. Sosa. Oh, good save from Lagorga. That was a hell of a shot from Sosa. Laviso to take the corner. Plays it to Bonaparte. Shoots. Saved by Lagorga. Good shot again by Bonaparte that time. It's only a second shot out of five on target. Almost in injury time. Sosa with a throw. Come on, one last go. Sabato blocked by the defence and Pro Patria are on the attack now. Jadai running down the right hand side. Ball into Foti. And Sabato should get that. Well done. Find a man, Nordi. Find a man. He's coming far forward there. Marrero. Manfran. Back to Marrero. Out wide to Sosa. Forward to Maris. Maris just gets outnumbered. To Geary, to Columba, Judai now, De Poli, through to Forty. Oh God, not a second, please. Columba on the left hand side for Pro Patri. Cut, he's cutting inside. He gives it to Geary, and that's wide and nowhere near the goal really. Goal kick with Nordi looking towards Bocalon, but to Geary gets that. It's Capola. Ah, uh, the this game is gone. There's not going to be any more chances for us. If anything, they're going to score another. Sosa defending well there. Back to Nordi. So Cremonese are actually losing now. Come on. Come on, get a goal. Get an equaliser at least. It's a corner. We can go to three points clear at the top if we got a draw, but we didn't. Defeat in the first of this double live com episode and it is unacceptable you couldn't see the title with a win very unacceptable let's just see how the others did Bassano with a, a narrow victory against Reggiana Cremonese losing 1-0 to Pavia and so the only it's, there's two teams in the title race now Alessandria us and Bassano and there's one game left in the league. So we will just quickly have a look at who Bassano are playing in the next game. And they are playing against Feralpi Salo, who are 10th. 
it's not the easiest of games. Um, they obviously won today, but we're playing against Pro Piacenza, who also won today 2-1. Um, so I'll be back for the Pro Piacenza game, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, a title-winning party, a promotion party. That is what we're hoping for. This is it. This is the last game of the season, and we need to win it. Um, I accidentally skipped forward from the match analysis, but we are the four to five favourites today. Pro PSNs are three to one. Um, if we win today, we've clinched the title. Christian Sosa is our key man, and their box to box midfielder Marvin Mayetti is their key man. They can move out of the relegation playoff places if they win today. So both teams with lots to play for. They've gone two games without defeat. We've we obviously lost the last match, but we were on a good run up until then. So it's going to be very interesting today. Hopefully, hopefully we can clinch it. A draw may be enough, but we want to win. We obviously want to win. So let's get to the team talk. And win this one for the fans. That didn't work. I obviously don't care about the fans. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Come on, please. Please win. Yay, we can actually have our stuff up here. Up in here. Up in here. Why is that not moving? There we go. Oh dear. We're playing in grey today. So this isn't the best of starts. Caraccini to Russo. It's Aspers. Alessandro saved and cleared. Oh my god. Corner for them. Sosa heads it clear. That was an early opportunity for them. Not encouraging whatsoever for us, but we've got a corner. Leviso plays it to Bonapirti on the edge of the box. Bonapirti shoots, and that's just over the bar. I say just over. That was probably Rosette, but it was a shot. Well worked corner as always. Incidentally, I'm using the um, the corner corner tactic that FM Veteran did. I'll um I'll leave a link below. Second yellow card actually. I I got that from his video. He he suggested it, and I looked at it, and it's actually worked pretty well for us. It turned our season around actually because we were in a bit of poor form up until the point when I when I saw that tactic. Sosa crosses it in Marconi. One nil, Michelle Marconi. 15th goal of the season, our top scorer, and we get them on the counter-attack. 12 minutes gone, 13 minutes gone, and we're 1-0 up. Naughty with a goal kick, come on. Oh no, Alessandro. Out to Cattaccini on the right. Someone tackle him, come on, tackle him. Manfran heads it away, Medzevi has got it. Obviously, his first game back from suspension. Obviously, he was only banned for one game, but still. bonaparte has got it on the left now. Ball forward to Marconi, who's got one already today. Great ball to Maris, who's back from his sprained wrist injury, and he shoots, and it's a good save from Fumagalli. It's Alessandro, gives it to Cappuccini. Come on, Sabato. Oh, Alessandro's got it again. He crosses it in. Martinez, saved by Nordi. Nordi can distribute this well, maybe. Throw in for us on the right-hand side, Sosa. Marconi was there. Is that a penalty? It's a penalty. Marconi not only scores a goal, but he also wins a penalty. And who's taking it? Fishnala's taking it. And he scores 2 0. This is exactly the way that I wanted this to go. This is what I wanted us to do in the last game. As if you remember, I was talking about playing our youth team, some of our youth players in this game, but obviously that's not been able to happen. Laviso's got a free kick off the bar. What a free kick from Laviso. We're 2 0 up after 20 minutes. Barring a calamitous disaster, we've got this title wrapped up. It's Sosa, Tamaris, Leviso, well wide. Persano are still drawing as well. So even if we were to, to concede two goals and draw, then we'd still win the league title. But obviously, we want to win in style, don't we, with a, with a nice victory. 
Naughty with the goal kick towards Fishnella. Mayetti wins the header. Russo flicks it on. Siri, great defensive header there. But it's gone straight back to Russo and it's Calaccini. Can Sabato get a foot in? He's trying. Calaccini crosses it. Alessandro and that's out for a goal kick. Half an hour played, still 2 0 up. We've had three clear cut chances, we've taken two of them. It's not bad going. I remember the, the game earlier in the season when we had six clear cut chances. Russo with free kick cleared eventually by Bonapierdi. You need to Russo again. That's an easy save for Naughty. Yeah, we had six clear cut chances in one game this season, didn't we? And then we only managed to score one, I think. It's Marconi, Fishnala, Maris. Looking for Bonaparte, but Caraccini intercepted there, and Fumagalli has got it. Long ball forward, Siri intercepts with the header, Fishnala. Bonaparte, trying to turn his defender. Can he get across in? He can. Oh, that was in the danger zone, Maris. That's, oh, it's a goal kick. That was a great ball in from Bonaparte. Right in that gap between defence and goalkeeper. Despite the fact we've got a two-goal lead, I'm still feeling quite nervous. Almost half-time, and hopefully you're going to see this through to, to half-time was 2-0. Pisano have just taken the lead, so that means we have to win today. Because the two games, it obviously goes with head-to-head um, -head results. And in the two games we've played against Pisano, we drew one and lost one. So they would actually jump above us because of that. Um, everyone's playing pretty well. Only concern is Siri. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Hopefully they can just stay out there, do the job, till about 65, 70 minutes. And then if we're looking comfortable, I might think about bringing a couple of the youngsters on for a bit of bit of game time. To Maris running down the right at the start of this second half. Plays it to Leviso. Back to Maris. He gets tackled by Cows. Oh, it's a bit of a defensive mix-up there, and it's falling to Marconi. It's Maris. Is that a penalty? It's another penalty. Maris has won another penalty for us, and Maris is going to get to take it too. Our best player this season, a contender for the best player in the league, and he's missed. Building him up, I was building him up to the hills, and then he's just gone and missed the penalty. But he ha he has been suggested that he could win the Serie C A Player of the Season award, which would be well deserved. He's played awesome this season. It's Marconi, it's Fishnala, looking for Bonaparte headed away by Catechini, it's Fishnala back to Metavia. Up to Maris. Sosa's in plenty of space. There we go, there's Sosa on the right. Crossing not the best oh but it's Who's gonna get that goal? Is that gonna be an own goal? Sosa's got the they're giving Sosa the goal. That is it was on target, I guess, so some more calamitous defending from the AI in this game. Marconi to Sabato. Leviso shoots. Fishnal has got it now. Winning 3-0. That goal, I can't believe it. Sosa crossed it in and then it just absolute mix up at the back from Pro Piacenza. Defending like that, you can see why they're, they're in the relegation playoff zone. But well, they've got a corner with Aspas. Surely that's not Iago Aspas from former Liverpool player, is it? I have to have a look at that. Russo to Mayetti. Martinez shoots. And that's well what, over the top of the crossbar. Naughty. The goal kick. That's a terrible goal kick. But Sosa has collected it. The back gives it to Manfran. His defensive colleague. And Piano wins the header. Now it's Mayetti. Propia sends on the attack. Martinez. Catechini. Martinez. They've got one back. I'm going to passionately tell them to concentrate. We can't throw away a three-goal lead, surely. It, it has been done before by me. Surely this team's better than that. I'd like to think so, anyway. I'm just hoping to see that Pisano concede. That would, that would be a, a bit of pressure off our shoulders.
up to the 60th minute. No chances since that Propius Enza goal. Are there going to be any more highlights? There's a corner. Laviso to Bonaparte. Marconi shoots it's over the bar. He's looking for a second of the game there, Michel Marconi. I think it could be time for a change soon. We've got another corner. Laviso is going to play that to Bonaparte as always. Bonaparte on the edge of the box. Blocked. Sosa should get that, and he does. Sosa tried to give the Siri. It's intercepted. There's a bit of a kerfuffle there. The defender was holding on the ball for quite a while. Right, 68th minute, just about. And Filippo, Filippo Bonaparte is having not the best game of his his career. Um, we've got a few options on the bench, all pretty young. We've got Simone Manelli, who's on loan. Cotarelli, Diallo or Sabioni. I'm going to go with Diallo. He's one of our brighter youth prospects. Not that good, but I think he's like three-star potential. Which obviously isn't brilliant, but we'll, we'll see how he gets on. Captain Fantastic Adriano Mezzavia has picked up a yellow card as well. 20 minutes left. Still 3-1. Only one chance since Propius Enza scored. I'm going to make another change. And it's going to be... I think I'm going to take the captain off. Bring Jean-Luc Nico on. Obviously, he's the guy that start, started most of the games at the beginning of the season. But then, um, Meta and Leviso just created such a formidable partnership in the centre of midfield that I couldn't really bring him back in. But he's, he's going to be in for the last 15 minutes or so. And at 80 minutes, if we're still 3-1, I want to bring a youngster on. Even more so if we're 4-1. It's Nico to Fischnalla. Sosa. Could have had a dig. It's Siri 4-1. The defenders just playing it amongst themselves. Alex Siri, the centre-back scoring the goal, thanks to an assist from right-back Christian Sosa. I'd say that game, this game's pretty, pretty much wrapped up. Now... Who should I bring on? Sabioni? A few of them are... He's on loan though, isn't he, Simone Minnelli? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think I'm going to... I'm going to take Maris off. So we'll move Diallo to the right side of mid attacking midfield. We're going to bring David... Sabioni on. No, we're not. No, we're not. Hold the phone. We're going to bring Niccolo Cotarelli on because I don't think I've played him very much this season. 4 1. 12 minutes to go. League title pretty much wrapped up. It'd be nice if we could continue and get a few more goals, maybe. The goal scorers today are Sosa, Siri, Marconi and did Maris get one? No, he missed his penalty. Fischnaller? I was reading it. Yeah, Fischnaller. Marconi, Fischnaller, Siri and Sosa with the goals for us today. And we've hit 20 shots. Woo! Almost at the 90 minute mark. And we are sailing home with this one. I think this is the first league success I've had on Football Manager 2016. The, this is a great achievement. Although they were expected to do well. Martinez, good save from Nordi. They were expected to do well, obviously. Media prediction was to finish second and the, the board expectation was to reach the playoff places. I still feel we've done a very good job. To win the league, 4-1 victory. Great way to end the season, that is. Now let's just hope we can somehow find some money to sign Manuel Maris to a permanent deal because I have a feeling lots of clubs are going to be sniffing around him. There we go. There's the league table, final league table. Bassano did win 3-1 today, but it wasn't enough. So we end two points clear of Bassano. Get in. Oh, 
Oh, what a season. What a season. Let's just have a quick look at the news items. Alessandria win the Serie C A. Pisano, Cremonese and Alto Adige have all guaranteed themselves a playoff place. I will go into more detail of that in the, the season review. Diallo made his debut. How did he do? He got 6.9. Well done, Bubacar. I'll do that in a second. No, I won't. You won promotion for the side, but questions linger about your future at the club with your contract soon expiring. Do you expect to be here next season to lead your team in this new challenge? I do. I've actually asked the board to offer me a new contract, and they said they were going to do so in the next few weeks. That was a few weeks ago, so maybe I have to get back on their backs about it, but obviously that's not an option to click here. Um, I'd be looking to sort out a new deal as soon as possible. It was Sabato's was 125th league appearance. Uh, great achievement. Surely the board and fans are going to be even more demanding. Uh, no, thrive under that pressure. Title race was a close run thing, and nobody was quite sure the destination of the trophy until today. Did you have a doubt that you would finish as champions? Uh, there's a few moments where it looked like it might slip away. How does this moment feel? I'm delighted. Yes, we did. Brilliant feeling. Uh, yeah, whatever. The board of this now. Marconi is amongst the league leaders and average minutes per goal, finding that roughly over 119 minutes. Is there even more to come? Yep. Excellent. Terrific. The board, oh, clubs in Italy have, oh, I've looked at that already. I'm actually scouting all these players. These are um, some youth players that have been released by the, the Serie A teams, by the bigger teams, like Napoli and Lazio and all, all that jazz. So I've actually sent a scout out to, to see how they how they are. So we may be bringing some of those in. Um, board has set initial budgets. Board has set the wage budget of 51k, which is bigger than... That may mean that we can... Sign Maris. Oh, please, please say that means we can sign Maris. Because our old wage budget was 41k, so 51k is awesome. I'm also hoping to get rid of a bit of Deadwood at the end of the season as well. Like uh, the players that I sent to the reserves that weren't very happy. Uh, border ecstatic. Seems anything's possible with me at the helm, obviously. I mean, come on. Artico in disbelief following Alessandria's success. Siri praises Thompson following title win. We've actually been mentioned in this <laughs> to take over this job, but they're in Serie C B and they were near the bottom, so that's never going to happen. So so on form curtain comes down, and we've been given one hundred and seven thousand pounds. Let's see how dire our finances look now. Oh look, still minus seven hundred seven thousand. Brilliant stuff. Um, but that is a for this. Episode, whoa, what's this? What's this? The Italian Sea Super Cup? Maybe it's not the end of the series yet. Not the end of the series, the end of the season. I thought that was the last game of the season. I didn't, didn't realise that there was a, a Super Cup. What's the Super Cup? What is this? Is this the team, all the teams that won? Oh, surely I'm already pro promoted, please. I'm concerned now. I am concerned. Am I? Am, are we promoted? Somebody please tell me. We're champions. Champions get promoted, don't they? Top team wins promotion Serie B. Good. So this is just an extra little competition, I guess. Honestly, didn't know this existed. The Italian C Super Cup. So, am I right in thinking, yep, they they won Serie C C, and they won Serie C B. Okay, so is there money on offer? Is this just a little friendly competition? I'm really confused. Um, but I guess I guess we'll be back. We'll be back with the a double live com for the <laughs> Italian C Super Cup. I don't I don't know if it's just based on the league table or if it goes to, to like semi to a final. I wouldn't know because there's only three teams. Yes, yeah, so we'll be back to pit our wits against the the champions of Serie C B and Serie. CC. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and the season and our amazing achievements this season. I'll be back in the next episode with the Italian C Super Cup. Gattuso's manager of Pisa. That is awesome. Um, <laughs> thanks again for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out. And I'll see you next time.